Um, this is just a low poly model of a scene, but I think it does a pretty cool job of showing like how dramatic these shadows can really get. I mean, they're pretty cool. And what's happening here is we're actually animating the sun, uh, the sun's path across the environment underneath the sun and sky background option. And there, there is a lot of flexibility with this animation type, um, meaning that any changes you make here in the HDR editor, they will be represented in your animation. So for example, you can change the location, um, the date, if you have, uh, if you have shadows like this, you can increase the sun size. It'll, you know, soften those, decrease it, get really sharp shadows. So it's it's a pretty flexible um, animation type. Also, because you are presented again with something fairly similar to the environment rotation um, animation within the properties panel, you have simple and advanced editing modes. Um, in the simple mode, like environment, it's a really great place to start. You're just going to set your desired date and then enter in that start and end time. Um, one cool little tip here, for example, if you are, if you've shifted this, um, but you realize you want to create a sunrise to sunset, you can just go ahead and, and click that icon and that start time will adjust for that selected date. Um, again, advanced mode is where you can get a little bit more creative. It's going to look familiar, um, similar to the environment rotation animation. Curve editor, the difference um, is in the Y axis. Along here, we have our hours in a day. So this is going from zero to 24 hours. Um, but the concept is still the same. I mean, you can go in and edit that curve, uh, add in a key, you know, add in several keys, whatever you'd like and, and adjust all of this. And that'll give you um, a really different effect there. So again, obviously you have more control here um, and things can get pretty interesting with the way the sun is traveling across your animation. Um, but yeah, I think this animation is a really great one to use if you're looking for those super dramatic shifts in lighting, or maybe you need to capture um, a realistic sunrise to sunset, you know, something like that is definitely achievable with this animation type.